So as you can see on the chat, I, I, I do comment on the question you ask on the Twitch channel, but there's also a text response from Overclocking TV that is actually uh, Xiala, my teammate, that is on the other side of the, uh, of, of the stage right there. Team! Team! <laughs> okay, so that guy is in the back is actually the one uh, answering you with the uh, at Overclocking TV name, and I'm answering with the Truthman. Uh, nickname on the on the live chat um, question another question from Lord Drew guy question is Intel really that much better than AMD um, actually yes and no yes on the performance level because AM, uh, Intel is so far in advance with the with the core i7 and the core i5 um, uh, that's why most of the guys here are using that to break uh, record if they no if they, if they go for uh, world record they go for that on the side notes, I, I do personally prefer using the AMD CPUs when I do um, overclocking show off because it's much easier. It's much more easier to, to overclock. You don't have um, you don't have cold boot and cold bug issues mainly with the with the AMD CPUs, so that's why it's easier. But even with the 8 gigahertz uh, AMD FX CPUs, you don't get the performances that you can get with the 4770K at 4.8 gigahertz, for example. Question from iGuardianXX. Does overclocking hold more disadvantage than advantage or vice versa? Actually, I would say it has more advantage than disadvantage. In the past, uh, people were saying, oh, once you do overclocking, you break your warranty. Oh, you break your hardware, blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on, it's not true anymore. And especially when you buy the, actually the latest, all the latest CPUs you buy either from, especially from Intel, they have the turbo mode. And actually turbo mode is overclocking, automatic overclocking basically. Um, you have more advantage because it's more performing. Your, your computer is, uh, get higher performances for what you're doing. Um, disadvantage, more, it's a bit more hot, but depends, I mean, unless you live in the, in, in South Africa or you live in uh, Indonesia or you live here in Taiwan, you don't really care about having your computer running at 65 degrees instead of 55 degrees. That doesn't make any difference for you guys. So, or, and then you can use water cooling or air cooling to improve all that. So I would say there's not much disadvantage. The only disadvantage you have is it's very addictive. <laughs> The 24th shark. So I am asking, are they, are, are they going to reuse liquid nitrogen to make their ice cream late? If so, I want to drive up there and I will bring the stuff in to make it. I have mean cotton candy mix. Uh, actually, if you if you want to see how you make, uh, we won't make an into ice cream here today because actually it's quite long. Uh, I did some last uh, last March. We had an event in Montreal, and we were having some actually we were having some fun with uh, Deerbauer that is here. Although today we're one of the overclockers from Germany, and we did try to make LN2 ice cream. But to make LN2 ice cream, it takes a long time. Basically, it takes up to 1.5 hours to do to manage to, to get that for about like one liters of uh, one liters of ice cream i will post the link on the on the youtube chat so you can watch a time lapse about how to do ln to ice cream Okay, okay, guys. If you just tune up, you're here. At the uh, we are live from Taipei at the Ejabi 10th anniversary overclocking event. So basically, here uh, most of the top overclockers are uh, in in this uh, location here at the Maker Bar in Taipei, Taiwan, and they're going to overclock whatever they want, which are what they want, and they are mostly break world records for that. And there was a few questions earlier today that how do you make sure that it is a world record? Well, uh, that's what HWBot is all about. You go on hwbot.org and you can actually have all the rankings. So uh, I can switch to my screen here in a minute and I will show you exactly how that works. Here we go. 
cool. Now I can see, I can show you the screen and what's going on. So what you have right now on the screen is the HWBot website. Uh, HWBot is the main home for all the ranking. So if you do overclocking, you can rank. You can do extreme overclocking, you can do regular overclocking, you can submit a benchmark as you would, and I will, I will show you how to do that in a, in a second. So basically on HWBot, you can have uh, all the latest news about the, the industry, like what's going on, on the, uh, like during Computex. Computex was last week, a lot, a lot of new hardware, a lot of uh, new stuff announced. And there is also the main important thing, the ranking on different benchmark. So we will make, we will use a basic benchmark. We go to benchmark and processors. I will download it. I will show you exactly how to do it. So let's say we want to run HWBot Prime, this benchmark right there. That benchmark is actually the only benchmark that is completely cross-platform. You can run it on Windows, you can run it on Mac, you can run it on Linux, and even on uh, Android and iOS. So let's download this benchmark. That's actually something you can even do yourself at home. Uh, let's wait that for download. Okay, so that right now we have the benchmark that is ready to be used. So let's put that on the desktop. And we have here hwprime.char. And I will run this benchmark. It open this benchmark and it's very quick. You just need to click on there run the benchmark it will make a calculation and this calculation will give you a score and that score goes on HWBot and from the HWBot page you can then um, submit the scores and compare uh, what's going on oh I have some issues with my oh. let's click analyze on HWBot So now I'm on the JBD bot. The, de the default frequency is uh, the one I have, the standard cooling. This is all the information you have to enter because there. Because uh, you need to, 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 to tell what kind of hardware you're using. For that, you can use CPU-Z. That is a piece of software that is telling you exactly which frequency you are running at. Oh, I need to update. Well, so I'm using the Core i7-3615QM. Actually, this is running on my laptop. And I've been, I'm at around like 2.3 gigahertz. So all the frequencies moving, that's the uh, power saving and auto auto adjustment settings that we were using. So the maximum CPU frequency for that CPU is 2.3 gigahertz. So I say 2,300 gigahertz. All that I really don't need it. And of course. 240M. Yeah, well, I don't need that. And here's the screenshots, comments, uh, scores, made live, and the HW bot, AC anniversary event. I don't know one. I do not want point for this. So every time you submit a benchmark on HWBot, but you can gain point for that. And do those points give you a ranking? Uh, right now, I don't want any point for that. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It's just to show you around. So this is actually a profile page, and actually I don't get any point for that because there is more people. There's people with the same degree that did better scores on that benchmark. So let's say I want to see what scores I need to make with that CPU to get point or to get a good ranking. So I will just go there on this CPU. And I have all the benchmarks. HW Prime, I need to do 4,881 points to compete against that kind of uh, those people. Actually, I'm the third one. I am the third biggest scores on this 
um, on this computer. So actually, you guys don't hesitate to um, go on the HW bots. You can go on the benchmark, download the benchmark, submit the submit the scores, and that's it. Um, we saw that there was the um, you had to enter a lot of information when you do that. But if you're running on Intel, you can have the uh, XTU, Intel XTU, Extreme Tuning Utility. And this uh, piece of software is actually uh, helping you to um, get all the information you need, all the information you have, and that will um, completely put all the information directly in the submissions. So that's quite interesting. When I was talking about the... Um, the uh, Let's say the uh, HWBot Prime, you can also run that on your cell phone. I will actually start my cell phone and show you around, show you how to do that kind of things. Let's go back to better views of the videos so we can see what's going on. No, I don't think so. They are not using the screen for that. Yeah, I think that's Ronaldo. Oh, Crystal. Yeah, that's cool, but it's not working on the live, so I cannot really display that.
Okay, guys, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask that on the live uh, Twitch chat. I'm actually um, struggling with changing some of the cameras, so don't hesitate to ask Timothy that is answering the at overclicking TV nickname. Any question you have? People do like that. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Next profile? Sure. 
the month we'll need more. Yeah, yeah. Let me. When you, I'll, I'll, I'll smash them down now. Then type the back. Yeah. Fifteen hundred max. It's very um. Fifteen hundred for. Yeah, um, well, I'm at minus 50, but I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you need to be lower. Why don't you just set it to stop so the bolts are low and run it, right? Just set it to default and run it, and, and, and then, uh, then I'll be able to pull them down while it's running. And, yeah.